Demand for preschools and infant care centres is rising as parents return to the office post-pandemic. But with better business comes a major challenge. There just aren't enough teachers. We take a look at the situation ahead of the upcoming budget. Taking his son to infant care has become routine for Mr So We Singh. Knowing his child is in the trained hands of early childcare educators like teacher Ng Hye takes a weight off his mind while he and his wife are at work. We did not have uh, alternative care for our, our child, and which is why we decided that uh, it would be good that we send our kid to, uh, to, the, to, the, to the infant care. And Mr. So is not the only one tapping such services as more parents return to the workplace. Definitely we've seen more inquiries. The take-up has increased by close to 10% compared to the same time last year. Yeah, and we see uh, more inquiries, especially for the infant care services in some of our centres. To cope with rising demand, the little schoolhouse constantly looks for suitable talent. Beyond the standard qualifications, it wants candidates with passion and who want to work in the sector. Despite the tall order, it managed to increase its staff strength by 25% from 2020. Now it has close to 400 educators. Mulberry Learning operates a network of preschools. Enrollment at three outlets in the Central Business District has risen to 1,220 from 960 last year. Parents in the past, perhaps they used to rely on grandparents or domestic helpers to take care of their young babies. But we see the trend now of more grandparents returning to the workforce or maybe pursuing their passions. And also a recent shortage in getting new domestic helpers into Singapore. So parents are having difficulty finding alternative care. To cater to the increased demand, the chain expanded its premises. It also has to continuously hire, which Mr Pei admits is not easy, in this tight labour market. To ensure existing teachers don't feel overwhelmed, the company has tweaked some of its procedures so that teachers can focus on teaching. The chain also looks at other ways to retain its staff. This includes providing competitive salary packages and fully sponsoring upskilling courses for its educators.